Hey, what's up everyone? Mark Price here, devslopes.com, and today we're gonna talk about Node.js. And the reason why we're gonna be using Node, at least for the JavaScript portion of our application, is because it's really a useful tool in helping us uh, interpret our JavaScript code, see where there's bugs and errors and problems. And there's lots of ways to run JavaScript code, but we're gonna use Node. And also, Node is very powerful in and of itself. And you, if you're not using it already, you should learn it because Node makes it really easy to get uh, web services up and going, talking to your mobile apps. Uh, if you can get down mobile development with Node and Express, you're gonna be a very powerful tool. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna open up Google Chrome. And we're gonna go find it and install it. Let's just do incognito here, get all the junk off. Okay, and so we're gonna type in Node.js, just do a search. It should be the first one that pops up right here, nodejs.org. Okay, I'll make it a little bit bigger here so we can all see it. And I'm just gonna read the top section here. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. So Google Chrome's JavaScript interpreter, okay, that's what Node is built off of. Node.js uses an event-driven, non-blocking IO model that makes it lightweight and efficient. And Node's package ecosystem, NPM, is the largest ecosystem of open source libraries in the world. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about NPM later, but how cool is it to know that the largest ecosystem of open source libraries for any one thing is here with Node. It's not with Ruby, it's not with Django and Python, it's not with PHP, it's with Node. So I hope you can see kind of the benefit of using Node. It's a big deal, huge community, and it's growing fast. So go ahead and download it. This is also available for PC or Linux, uh, other downloads. We're gonna download it for OS X here. It's fairly lightweight. And I'm just gonna click it here. And it's gonna install it like so. I've already done this process, so I'm not gonna follow through all the way. So go ahead and go through this, uh, these prompts here and install Node, okay? And when it's all complete, it will be on your system and you should be able to access it right from your terminal. So go ahead and command space to pull open your terminal Okay, and if command space is not doing this for you to pull this up, you need to update your, your Mac to the latest. Uh, there's no reason why you should be on an older version of Mac, uh, uh, especially with, uh, with uh, Apple development. So go ahead and pull open terminal here. I'm gonna make it really big here. And all you gotta do to run Node is type in Node. Now what's really cool about this is, and the carrot there, the sideways carrot, sorry, I don't know the name of the character, it is uh, indicates that you're in the node shell. And I wanna bring one thing up. So node allows JavaScript to be run pretty much anywhere. And maybe that doesn't mean anything to you, but here's what's really cool. And uh, so in the previous history of everything JavaScript, uh, browsers are what have allowed JavaScript code to be interpreted. Uh, JavaScript's an interpreted language and you need an interpreter to be able to uh, run the code. And so only browsers have been able to do that. Well, then Node came out, which allowed it to be run on a Mac, on a PC, on a server. I right, see where I'm going with this. So now you can run JavaScript code anywhere. And JavaScript is all over the place. So very cool tool. We are in the shell here right now, Node. And this is real cool. We can actually run actual JavaScript here in the shell and it will output the results. So if I say 15 times five and press enter, 75. How about six minus five? One, very cool stuff. So you can do stuff right here from the shell and it's interpreting it real time. Now, this isn't super useful for us right now and I've never felt or I've never seen a great use, great need to use this interactive shell, but it's there for you. So, uh, and to get out of it is control C and control C again to quit. So we have node installed and just to make sure it works, uh, just for one final test, Let's go ahead on here on the uh, the desktop, and I'm gonna go ahead and say vim, and we're gonna say uh, temp.js. Vim is the, uh, the text editor that comes with the bash, uh, and so I'm gonna go into it. I'm gonna press I to go in insert mode, and you don't have to follow along if you don't want to, and you don't have to know what I'm doing here. I'm just running a test to make sure it works. I'm gonna create a JavaScript file. so. I'm in insert mode because I pressed I, and I'm gonna say var, let's say val1 equals 10. And we're gonna say var val2 equals 
five. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, let's say the sum, we're gonna say var sum equals val one plus val two. And then we are gonna do console.log sum. Some simple valid JavaScript. I'm gonna press escape a few times to get out of insert mode. I'm gonna hold down shift and press colon next to the L. That gets the prompt up there at the bottom left if you can see it. And I'm gonna press X to save and quit. That's how you interact with Vim. This is not a tutorial about Vim, but okay. Now, what I wanted to show you was that we can actually run that file. So I created that file, temp.js. It's living right here on my desktop. If I just uh, type in ls, it should be right here somewhere. Oh, I guess we're not on the desktop. We're in my we're in my main uh, we're in my main uh, user folder, but that's okay. Temp.js is there. Command K to clean clear there and I'm going to go ahead and just run node the word node and then temp.js what we should see is the result printing to the screen node's going to run this javascript file what we're going to do now is just introduce an error so I'm going to open up temp.js okay vim temp.js I'm going to press i to go in insert mode and let's just uh what do we want to do to make an error here let's say uh something silly let's say val2 equals var Okay, doesn't make any sense, that's okay. I'm gonna press escape, hold down shift and then colon and then X to save and quit. This time I'm gonna run node temp.js and see if it works. Ah, it gives me an error and it shows me the exact line uh, of code where the problem is, unexpected token var, if you can see that right there, unexpected token var, okay? So Node, very powerful, interprets it for you right there on the spot, can help you solve your problems. We're gonna be using this throughout the JavaScript portion of this course, and you should start getting familiar with it as a, as a web developer. Sometimes now in my job and just in regular development, if I have a mobile app and I quickly wanna prototype a backend with data, uh, I took the time to learn Node and Express, and now I can throw up web servers with databases really easy. Uh, and it wasn't that hard to learn. So a very important stuff. If you think it's not applicable to you, I'm not a web developer, I wanna learn iOS. Well, these are some really important things that are gonna help make you a better iOS developer, a better, better Apple TV developer. Uh, and you'll start uh, getting a taste for the web because you need to know some of the things that is happening behind the scenes on the web to really appreciate that on the client. So anyway, that's Node. Uh, we've installed it. And let's go ahead and move forward uh, in our lessons.